Good afternoon, everybody. Let's talk about the prophetic word again today. We're going to focus our attention on one single word. It's called holy. And pay attention to the definition of that and what God is intending to do when he tells us or commands us to be holy. Before that, uh, we go on with that. The, the one to mention that uh, my wife, Anna, is going to be spearheading the community section on this channel so if you've never actually gone to the community section go back to the home page and on top it says home videos playlist I think community and then about click on the community the word community and there's a whole different world there of different Bible verses and Bible lessons and thoughts from the Word of God and so she's going to be spearheading that on a daily basis so I just wanted to share that with you. So enjoy that as God leads you and share, you know, share the videos, share the screenshot, the comments or the, the uh, Bible lessons on the community board and share them wherever you want to. It doesn't matter to me. Just as long as everybody's blessed, and everybody's growing, um, please do so. So with that being said, back to the definition of the word holy, the word holy doesn't have the idea uh, necessarily of being perfect as it does to be separate. Perfect, I mean, as in to say, um, sinless. Because I think God knows that in our nature, and especially the fallen nature and the temptation to sin, He knows it's a lot easier for us to, for the first step to be, step away from or separate ourselves from those things don't go around those things that cause us to sin so that's the idea of the word holy it's not that we are perfect or sinless I mean because there's a word that uh, talks about being perfect that means being mature or grow grow up continue to grow uh, being perfected which is talking about growing in your relationship with God but a part of that growing in our relationship with God has to do with being holy. Separate. Make a conscious effort. As a believer, because the Spirit of God is in us, we will make a conscious effort to see our lives separate from that which is wicked in this world. And that's what uh, the commandment is. Be holy uh, as God is holy. He is separate, but he is also still able to interact so like the Bible says that Jesus was tempted at all points of the law, but without sin. Uh, he wants us to be in a position where if you're going to see deliverance in er some of these areas of your life, sometimes God's hand just comes upon us and changes us uh, through a prayer or laying on of hands as the scripture commands those who are sick and or when God decides to heal in certain ways. But other times, God just says, you know what? You need to just don't go around there anymore. You don't need to be a part of that situation or that person's life. All that does is stop your relationship with me, the Lord says. So that's really the idea of what it means to be holy. It's making a conscious effort. The Holy Spirit will prod and push and saying, what are you doing here? What are you being a part of this situation? Why are you investing your life in? In this individual that's only just bringing your relationship with me into the trash can. And that's really where we all need to, on a daily basis, assess the decisions that we make. Is it causing us to draw closer to God or away from him? That's where the word holy comes in. We make a conscious effort by the power of the Holy Spirit because we are children of God through the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. To say, you know what? What God has is so much better. I choose Him. And so, be holy. Be holy. God bless you. Have a great day.